France Perot, unbelievable piece of control. He's in here, Perot. Perot! What a touch, what a flick from Perot. He holds off the advance of Gavin O'Brien and he gives Brady no chance. He finds the very bottom left-hand corner. Hey, Boston. This is Wave Forever Films. We are here doing another interview. Please stay tuned. We are about to, you know, dive into some conversation with a soccer player we have here right now. So, you know, here we go. Let's do it. What's up, man? How you, How you doing? doing, my man? Thank you for having me, man. Um, of course. Just want to say I appreciate bringing me here, you know, um, and speak about my journey. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have and really, really anything, you know. Um, so thank you. Of course, of course. There's for one sure. question I want to ask you. For sure. So what makes you want to play soccer? Um, no, that's a question I get a lot, actually. Um, you know, always starts with how did it start and stuff like that. But, you know, I was born in Haiti, growing up there really. Um, I'm a country boy. I am from the countryside. So it was just football we, we kind of really knew about. You know what I mean? All the other sports wasn't really in our interest. So it was something that kind of came naturally. It was like something from birth where it just, um, that's all we really did. Uh, when I say we, I'm speaking of my brother's friends and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's really something that I've had love for it for a very long time. And, um, you know, it was just a matter of having the opportunity to kind of explore it and go further, right? Okay. But, um, yeah, it was just, it's just something that felt natural. It's one of those things that you don't question, you know what I mean? Okay. It just okay. comes and then it's just like, okay, I'm good at this, so I'm going to, you know, kind of emphasize and see see where it goes. Okay, and, you know. okay. So, at the time when you l learn about soccer, when you were in Haiti, mm. so who was your, like, mentor? Like, who was the person that you were you looking up to at the time? At the time, necessarily, it wasn't really a mentor. You know, you, you watch, you know, you, there are the likes of Ronaldinho, uh, okay. Kaka, Messi. Or, so, you grew up watching those guys, but you didn't really, you couldn't really comprehend the game just yet. But, you know. But you were, you know, looking at it, maybe one day you want to be like them. But it wasn't necessarily anybody that I had that was a mentor because um, we're all still young. So we just play for fun. We just played and we just were good at the sport. But yeah, not just necessarily said there was anybody that particularly that we looked up to or that I looked up to. It was just a matter of um, having those those guys in the pro levels that you just fell in love watching. Ronaldinho, Messi, Kaka, um, you know, Ronaldo nine for brazil um and i was just there's this guy just watching him you know just like mm, mm. that's it so fast forward when you came to america oh, yeah so what like what team were you looking up to play for when you came here team looking up to play for i didn't really have that my mind wasn't really made yet to okay. be honest you know i didn't really uh have like okay i'm coming to america i'm gonna be a professional soccer player okay it wasn't really you know what i mean it was more like coming here find a team and then you know, uh, have fun. My, exactly, but my dad had always made it about school. You know what I mean? So it was more like do well in school, you know, you do well in school. So, and then it was kind of like, um, and then the football was just, like I said, it's, it's, it's there regardless. But if we can do well in school, then we can go further. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, coming when I, when I got here, it was just playing cook club, you know, okay, 11 okay. years old. But for club traveling, you know, learning English, doing just experiencing things, and at this age, I still, you know, didn't fully comprehend the game just yet. I didn't really fully learn the game just yet. It's kind of like just going through it. You know? I hear, I hear. So you said that your dad wanted you to be in school. Yeah. So what did your dad had in mind for you? Uh, to <laughs> I mean, I think when I say this, I can speak for a lot of Haitian people. Yeah. <laughs> to do a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, a doctor, I hear you. right? A nurse or uh, engineer, something of those, you know. Yeah, yeah. Of those status, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was, it was always like, um, ah, that's not really where my mind. We're not really in the same, you know, thinking the same thing. Yeah. But that's what really what he had in mind. But at the end of the day, he just wanted us to, you know, to have good grades. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, good grades, and obviously be good at the sport we do. He always supported the fact that. You know, we push like we. If we're gonna play this sport, better make sure that we do it well, because if not, then you're wasting time. Yeah. Focus in school. You know what I mean? Okay. So he so wants you to. Yeah. Have he always. Yeah. Yeah. He was always hard on the, on the. Um, you know, we have to be good at the sport as well. And but in the school aspect of things, you have to keep a certain standard. You know. Um, 
But yeah, it was a good balance of both, to be honest. And, and to what you said yeah. about like being in a Haitian household where they literally, they want you to be this, they want you yeah, to be that. Yeah, but the yeah, thing yeah. is, they're not thinking outside the box. No, no, no. It's not just engineering, doctor, or... Correct. Um, what was it called? Uh, lawyer that can make oh, yeah, 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 the, yeah. the most money. You could own a business. You can make way more money than a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. the thing is like... I don't know. I think it's what they, they, I think it's the fear of like them leaving the world and then for them to not have their kids have something going Correct. on for them. And that's, Correct. and that's a big fear, yeah. you know, but I mean, you know, the thing is like, as a parent, you have to let your kid, not, not as a parent, but like, but like being a parent, you have to like, let your kid choose their path. You Correct. can't just let, you can't just pave the path for them you know yeah. sometimes they have to learn the yeah. hard way you know what i'm yeah. saying and i think that's what haitian people um parents missed yeah. out on you know yeah. like they they you know they always want to like put the spoon in your mouth you know correct. even if you're grown already correct you know what i'm saying yeah, but yeah, okay yeah. um so for uh, so now you you're playing soccer right correct if i ask you which um who, who do you play for all right i play for well recently this year um i was playing in ireland um, for Athlone Town. Prior to that, um, I was drafted by the Houston Dynamo okay. from UConn. Um, and I didn't really spend much time there. Um, things didn't really go as I wanted. It wasn't really part of my, like the plan ahead for the long term wise, it, wasn't, it didn't really fit my, right? Like, what was it, if you don't um, mind? Asking. I mean, I'm not going to go into details yeah. on what the contract and whatnot was, but it just wasn't aligned with my, with Your the future? plans I had in mind. Exactly. Okay. And so I, you know, chose the route to go to Europe and explore that market, right? Um, thank to God we, uh, I say we, I'm talking about the people with my support yeah, system, you know, because yep. it's not just about me, you feel me? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so um, thank to God, you know, things went well. And so going to the next year, I'm going to play with a team named Drahedda in nice. the Premier Division in Ireland um, because I was in the second division. So now I'm going to the first division. Okay. And so, yeah, um, yeah. But the team was Athlone, Athlone Town FC. Um, just spent about the year there. And okay. then I'm going for another year. So how does it feel being in a different country that you're not used to? <clears throat> I know you, you you came from Haiti and you yeah. moved here, which means yeah. that you had to adapt to America. Yeah. And now you moved to Ireland. How does it feel to be there? Um, honestly, the one thing about me is I easily adapt to no environment. Okay. Uh, I couldn't care if it snowed there, or rain a lot there, which it, it does rain a lot there, uh, quite a lot, yeah. Um, but it was a matter of I'm here to do one job. I'm here to get one thing, and that's what I'm going to get. You know what I mean? But um, but it was a good experience overall, right? Um, new place, you know, um, um, different style of, you know, even the, the culture itself, right? The things that people do every day. The time difference was a major thing as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but hey, it felt it, it was a good experience. You know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah. good to go through this thing and kind of see different people, okay. build connections, build you know stuff like that. So, what was your support system when you decided to choose the soccer path? That they what well, how, how was how did your dad react or your mom? Um, my mom always been supportive. My okay. mom always been you know about it um no well my dad always been i would i wouldn't say necessarily he was like you know very you know a lot of the times you know straight only yeah 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 but um but it was but i was always been very strong mentally from an early time you know what i mean okay um from an early age um and so it was kind of always in my mind that i need to i need to do well in school to get a scholarship to college and I need to work so I need to train I need to train there's always training man I mean after school training that's all I do my time in the summertime training I don't go out I don't go party I don't, I'm just, just training and so it wasn't my really in my mind you know what I mean but I wouldn't say at the time I, I fully you know I, I forgot to mention but my brother also was also supporting as well Franzi right nice because um, he was ahead uh, you know going through so everything that he's, he's gone through I'm about to go through so he just always prepared me for this thing, oh, nice, you know nice, what I mean? Nice. Kind of help me so I don't make mistakes or that I just try my best, right? Um, but, you know, just, but at the time there wasn't really, a, uh, I wouldn't say a support system just yet, because it was so early on. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And nothing was very vivid at the time just yet, you know what I mean? But in my mind, I knew that's what I had to do, right? But but now I'm more of a support system just now, because, you know, playing professional now, 
it kind of it, it have to have that you know it's, mm-hmm. it's important to have that around and people that that are there mm-hmm. you know so i have uh there's what uh, I, I wanted to ask you this question but i think i'm gonna ask it later what is your position my position i'm a striker center forward number okay. nine yeah Okay. So I'm um, responsible for goals. <laughs> that's my that's my main responsibility. Would you say would you say is that a lot of responsibility for you or 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 does your team really depends on you to actually score the goal? I mean, you know, everyone in the on, on the field has a has a main job, right? A primary job, right? And just like the keeper, his job is to make skip, sure don't make sure no goal. goals get in there, yeah. you know what I mean? And my job is to make sure that I score goals. Okay. You know what I mean, and uh, uh, as a, as a nine, the team looks for you to score goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if we're losing, we're not scoring, and we didn't. I didn't score, and we lost. I felt responsible because yeah, I. Have, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of on me. I kind of put that pressure on myself, but okay. You know, um, obviously, you'll have teammates that kind of help you ease your mind that you know it's not just you that scores goals at the end of the day. You have it's the team. two other players that are playing. You know, you have two wingers that also have to score goals and uh, the 10 that you know also an attacking player yeah, yeah, yeah right so it's like it's not just the striker but the striker is the guy that has to score the goals yeah, but yeah, also yeah. these other guys they they, they can, can contribute in, in that way as well okay oh, yeah okay so what was the most challenging you know um situation that you've got on the field Mm, on the I'm not, not not got what is the most challenging situation that you faced i faced and generally or just on the field like doing the field like let's say let's say like what example can i give you let's say like um uh, it's one one and then you have to score and mm. then like um what did what do you have to do to make sure that you 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 score that goal or let's say like it's penalty kick what did you have to do penalty kick uh um i wouldn't say it's the most challenging I think probably the most times I've had it, the most challenging thing I've had, I think, was when I had a, a hamstring, like my hamstring was hurting. And I couldn't run as much, I couldn't move or run how I would normally, you know, yeah. do. Um, and so I had to kind of change my playing style, right? It was kind of like a lazy type of playing style yeah, because yeah, I can't yeah. sprint. So now I have to rely on my other, you Your know, teammates. A lot more and also my other strengths, which is, my power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of the time, I just want to go in and be on the one-on-one with the player where I can use my power to shift them, to move them, you know, to one side or another. But the most challenging, I would say, is not being able to run as much as you want or as fast as you would because of an injury. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So say even like my last couple of games at Athlon, we're in the playoffs, we're in the playoffs, and I picked up a knock on my hamstring, right? So every every before every game, I have to get a massage, right? Um because it was, it was, you know, I have to play because we in the playoffs, and so I, um, I wrapped it, and obviously I wasn't sprinting over the place. I sprint when I needed to, you know what I mean. Yeah. I move when I needed to, so mm-hmm. I had to be very smart with my movements. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean, and just be deadly. I know if I'm gonna get one chance, I gotta gotta put it away. Two chances, I gotta make sure I get at least one out of two. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, but the most challenging thing I would say is having a knock, and your team needs you. And the team is at a crucial point in the season, and you not being able to play to the full capacity that you want to, and having to kind of uh, adapt and kind of maneuver around it. I'd say that's a bit of a challenge itself. Yeah. Yeah, I hear. I hear. Yeah. So, what is um, practice looks like for you? Practice for me look like um, it's a lot different now than it used to be. Uh, college, high school, I used to just uh, more training hard, 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 and not really smart, right? And yeah. Um, when I, now the only difference is that that oh, I don't train hard, but it's more um, train hard, but with the with the proper recovery, taking okay. care of my body because if my body is not right, I can't really train hard. Okay. And I'm also putting myself in <clears throat> in risk for injury. You know what I mean? So now I just train smarter. You know what I mean? It's not so much hard, hard, just running, 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 doing this. No, it's more like being more smart with my training and, yeah. and things that I know that I'm gonna. I need to work on that I need to improve on and not so much things that I'm I've already had a higher level on you know what I mean yeah I hear you so let's say after you guys win like a match or something yeah so what does fun look like ah uh, man fun uh, I mean fun for me I just go home and sleep I rest really the past year yeah the, I mean this past year I 
I don't really go out much to be honest. You don't go to the club, get some stress out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, nah. You know? I I locked in, man. I locked in. I mean, I can only speak from this past, you know, uh, you know, being professional and yeah, yeah. having to um, achieve a goal, right? Okay. Um, I I after a game, <clears throat> I just maybe put a movie on, right? Maybe I watch sometime I watch the game which I watch the game back. Your game, you I watch, watch the game, game back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, good. And I sometimes though find that very it could be a little bit sometimes I feel like my mind is overstimulated, right? Okay. So it's, there are times where I just like I won't watch it because it's too much. I just play the game and I'm going home to watch it again just to pick up on mistakes and then because I want to fix it right away. I want to okay. I don't want to let it, you know, but it could be also overstimulated. So you have to be I had to be very careful of how I'm doing this because it can just make you stress and like, yeah, ah, yeah, damn, yeah. I didn't do this. No, so but it's more like, okay, I didn't do this. Next time I know what, you know. So how are you hard on yourself because of that? Um, I can be very hard on myself, but I try, I try to, not in a way to be, to criticize myself in a negative way, but in a way that I know I'm supposed to do this. Okay, I just didn't do it at this time. It's not like I don't know that. I just, at the moment, I was thinking something different. Maybe now that I'm looking at it from a different perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm in that same situation, I know I have, okay, this option or that option. Yeah. And I know last time that option didn't work. So let me try this that one. Just, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So it's more of an easy mind. It's all mental. It's all I mental. Mean, I mean, we're human, you know what I'm saying? Because cause, cause I'm the same way, you know? Yeah. Like whether it comes to like me fixing a car or yeah. whatever it is, or me doing some, some um, you know, fixing some part of the house something like that so sometimes like things can get a little bit challenging sometimes yeah, yeah. and usually a step back usually fix that you know you know what i'm saying like kind of like you like if you're overthinking about something and you step back a little bit and then you go back and then boom you got it mm -hmm. or sometimes if you because the thing is like you there's there's a saying that says Measure twice, cut once. Mm -hmm. You don't want to. You don't want to measure it once, and then you have to cut it twice. And then yeah. now that piece that you cut twice mm -hmm. doesn't fit anymore. No. So it's just like you have to buy another piece Correct. to make it fit. Correct. So usually, like if you, you you end up doing like way too much than than what it's need of you. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So that's why I think about it. You you speak of putting on movies. So what's your favorite movie? In favorite case, the movie? people who wants to be with you, oh, or whoever, whoever, whoever you have in mind that wants to be with you, maybe she she might, or whoever it is, <laughs> <laughs> might want to bring you to a movie or something. No, favorite movie? Um, I watched I watched a lot of shows, right? There was a show, I forgot what it's called, it was like 19 something, it was um, something, you know, people being on the ship, but it's kind of like a stimulation. Okay. You know what I mean? The is part, it action? It's action, a little bit of action, you know, adventure, stuff like that. Okay. Um, um, also, I watched a show called Echoes. Echoes, check it out. It's really good. Echoes. Yeah, yeah Echoes. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff, but I was all over the place, you know what I mean? Okay. And I watched a show uh, called Lioness. Oh, okay. Lioness with Paramount Zoe Plus. Sardana. Zoe Sardana, yeah. Yeah, yeah like that, that one. Oh, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. I, I, that I can one. give that a little bit of crit critic, though, because... I think that show it, it was pretty good, but that lady in there, she was a little too emotional for me. Like in like in a way, not, it's not bad to be emotional, yeah. but it's just like it it, it kind of like she couldn't really do the mission in a way that like she was letting her, like they told her to to pretend to fall in love with the girl, and then she got too deep, mm -hmm. and like it was like messing up with the mission. Are you speaking of the girl that went undercover? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, she wasn't trained for it. There was yeah, no exactly, time. exactly, exactly. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to to kind of put that human you yeah, know, emotion yeah. and just kind of hide it for a long time. Yeah, so, no, I hear you, I hear that. You know what which, I mean? Which is why, like, watching this movie, watching the show kind of like make me think outside the box in a way like when you see like events that are happening yeah, like, yeah. like like let's say like explosion things like that like car accident you like <laughs> it makes you kind of think like those things actually happen in real life yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying like mili military stuff actually um are are um performing yeah. um on the street like that without our knowledge because like we think like the news will cover up and say like yeah. hey, it's um uh it's something small or yeah. oh no this bad person went outside yeah. but you know by watching the show kind of gave yeah that i do think shows like this kind of you know even though you may not as you may not be as accurate as the real life events yeah. maybe, but it kind of gives you uh, especially from the 
human emotion side, right? Like what these, you know, to go carry on a, a mission to kind of forget that for a second, you have to kind of forget you are human, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of have to take that emotion out of yourself to, you know, to do, to carry out a certain mission. And so yeah, it just kind yeah. of shows, it's pretty interesting. You know, I, I like that. Yeah, I like yeah. it, man. It's it's pretty cool. So I would suggest it to anybody really yeah, to watch yeah. that show. I agree. And Zoe is a great actor. I mean, she plays Avatar. I love Avatar. She plays, um, let me see. I could go on uh, no, no, Colombiana. She, yeah. Uh, she bro. plays a lot. What, what other movies she's I could go into? on. She's my favorite, man. She's good. Oh, she's into. Or oh, she plays in Garden of the Galaxy. You watch the Marvel Correct. movie? Yeah. She's in there as she's well. Also, Star Trek as well. I can name a few, man. Star Trek. I, Star Trek, yeah. She's in there. Which one? I don't know which one. I'm not. I mean, I'm sure there are many ones, right? Uh, Is it a show or the it's movie? It's a movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know which one you're talking about. I recently, I never she seen it before. She played all. all I saw it recently. Yeah, I saw it recently. She was in. The, I said, ah, oh, with yeah, Idris yeah. Elba. Idris Elba's the is like the the, 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 tag, the last movie. Tag, I think on yes. that one. That's the last movie. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like it. With Chris Pine, I believe. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like the captain of. Yeah, yeah, it's bro. Pretty good. It's pretty good movie. Yeah, 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 not gonna yeah. lie. Not gonna lie. So, um, since you say not to put enough emotions into um, what you what you're doing. So do you, uh, when playing soccer, do you like uh, remove all emotions and just focus on the game, just 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 so like you could have a good game, or is that something that you do or you don't? One thing I I found out about myself was when I sometimes I'll play the the game in my mind. Like okay. I will before the game I will literally play things like the moments in my mind, scoring a goal, how I'm gonna celebrate, and I try not to do that. Right, I find it to be not. Uh, that's why I said overstimulated. I'm overthinking. Okay. Right. So I like to be really calm. Like before a game, I I like to listen. Like I listen to music. Um, I, mostly lately for this year, I'd say I'm a piano. It's been kind of like my thing. It's more of you know the beat kind of get me going. Can you know which, into which music you said? I'm a piano. It's a South African genre. Oh, so you all. That's just uh, but mostly Afro beats, and I know I'm a piano. Those genre. That's where I really be. You know, and uh, um, also I listen to what's his name, um, Burner Boy. Uh, not Burner Boy. It's a it's a different. Um, I forgot the name of it, but um, um, but yeah, I listen to things that really calm me down. Just okay. really put me relaxed. Put you like in the game, I don't I don't like to really overthink or, or get mad because getting mad is always just taking over my thinking process. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I try to remain calm. I don't get into any altercation and stuff yeah. like that. So I just try to, you know, stay calm and play and just play the game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So do you do you work out like like uh um often? Like let's say do you do leg workout or you just do leg a workout. little bit of everything? Yeah, so I, I do a lot of running. I I like to do a lot of running, but I do not like to lift weights, which a lot of people um probably wouldn't believe when I say when they ask me, Oh, you lift weights? I'm like, not really. If I do lift weights it's very light. Okay. You know what I mean? It's um, it's very light. It's more body weight stuff that I do. I do okay. use a lot of you know resistance bands. Okay. Um and uh, but yeah, I do I do work out you know quite okay. often. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's nothing too crazy. Just to maintain, uh, okay. not to build, not you know, just to maintain. And okay, I see, I see. I can tell why people say like you you work out. Yeah. You have like yeah. the wider shoulder. Yeah. And everything. So yeah, yeah, that that's that's what it is. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what what is your um, your diet look like? My diet, I eat freely, right? But with responsibility, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if I'm eating a little bit of cake, I'm not gonna go crazy. Right? <laughs> I just eat a little bit of cake just to enjoy, you know. Yeah. Um, but I've been I've been Haitian. <laughs> Rice is I mean it's so uh, every day, bro. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Every day, you know, rice by itself, rice with anything, fish, chicken, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but I eat pretty light. I don't really eat big portions. I, I like to eat easy, you know. Um, usually, especially in the morning, breakfast, I probably just eat cereal, to be honest. And probably won't eat until, I don't know, like, <clears throat> let's say, even in that cereal, probably, I'll probably eat that at like 11, 12. Sometimes I, I'll just have something like that. And okay. then probably eat some like some rice or something like that around the evening time. But it's pretty light and have some tea before I go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. not nothing strict, 
like I'm have to be so strict and I can't eat this. No, I eat freely. Yeah, I yeah. eat what I want. Okay. But I have to be responsible. I know if I eat this, I have to burn that. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, I eat this kind of thing where I eat like this, nah, bro, I gotta, I gotta burn that. I gotta, you know. I hear you. So, so um, when there's playoffs, um, what does your sleep schedule look like? I go to sleep early, man. Okay. I go to what, sleep what, early. What's early for you? Like for me, past I would not sleep past eleven. You know what I mean? Like by eleven, um, by eleven I have to be a. Uh, um, you know, ready to go, go to sleep. sleep. Okay. Yeah. So, what? When do you wake up? Uh, wake up. I really wake up early. I wake up at like seven. Seven. Okay. And it's weird, even though no matter how what time I go to sleep, I wake up very early, and I have so much energy. You know, just do my morning routine, which is you know, just shower, stretch, and then relax. Okay. Know? Okay. It's do you do a little bit of social media before you go to sleep and stuff? I mean, mm. everybody does. Yeah, it's there. It's yeah. kind of not like something you just just do. It's not like oh, I have to do it. It's not like a routine where. Okay, before I go to sleep, 10 minutes of Instagram. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's I more like it's just, oh, my phone. Okay, I got to go to sleep now and just put the phone away. You know what I mean? I hear you. I hear you. So um, does, do, do, does your parents um, come out and um, watch your game as, as you play? or Not that, not this past year. They've come okay. to a few games when I was in college. Um, okay. Um, but uh, this past year, obviously, because I was in, in Europe. But they watched you know, at home. Okay. You know. Yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite? Who's your role model now? I know. Well, I know. I, I I asked you that earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My role model, role model now. Role model now is I've always looked up to my brother. You know. It, okay. It's kind of it makes more sense. I can't say. Uh, I couldn't say somebody who's who's like say. Um, I guess he could. I, like say if I say Ronaldo was my role model. Yeah. I could say it to an extent, right? But having that person you grew up with, that's your brother yeah, in yeah. your home, see everything that he does. Uh, for me, that's a role model. You know what I mean. So I looked up to him because he's made it pretty far. He's been pretty successful. Okay. And okay. he's still going up. You okay. know. And for me, it's like I okay, came from the same place. Yeah. If he can do it, why wouldn't I be able to do? Why should not? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I kind of look up to him and kind of learn from him. You know. And so that's really been um, been the main thing for me. I look up to him a lot. You know. Yeah. yeah big yeah. time. And I just hope one day to play with him in the national team. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, what? So far, I know you mentioned him before, Franz, right? Franz. Yeah. So what what have you learned from him so far? Like how how long how long has he been playing professional? Um, he's been pro by what six six years, seven, six, six years, years now, okay. I'd say. Yeah. Um, what what have you learned since? Learn from him more the uh, mentality aspect of things, right? The perspective and how to look at things. Um, he's always been mentally strong, and okay. I think that's something that. I didn't really grasp on to up until um, probably like uh, mm, I'd say high school because obviously before that I'm pretty young so probably like junior in high school and I was still trying to understand even himself was working on his you know um, aspect of the, like his mentality aspect right um, but I really learned just to to how to look at things right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. um, so yeah I'll say that's probably one of the big things and obviously we play the same position. You know, um, and uh, so I learned a lot from him position-wise, you know, um, how to spend a player, you know, when to do this, when to do that run. We'll go over games together and just kind of like, okay, maybe I should have done this run different. Mm -hmm. I should not have done this run there. Let's, you know, kind of like that kind of just, you know, a teaching moment. I'm always willing to learn, always open to learn, you know, because uh, I don't believe that I know more than everybody yeah i mean yeah i was open for that i mean that's true because um i mean i do think like if somebody knows more than everybody else then i think they're a fool in a way i'm not saying like i'm not saying like to demeanor the person in a way yeah, but i'm just saying like yeah. you're a fool to think like you're better you're above somebody yeah. i think like um coming up or especially being black and and you know like there's a lot of um responsibility that falls on you you know like when it comes to um your let's say like your family or the, your community you know things like that so sometimes like you have to like prove to them in a way that like that like hey i can do this or hey like um i i know you want me to to you know show you that i'm that I'm here that, that I'm here to support the community but like that's a lot of responsibility for one person mm -hmm. so like best you could do is like do be yourself and do you then do yourself and not like 
you know, by doing too much and then you become a fool Correct. In, in a way. Correct. But um, I do think like uh, as a black man, there's a lot of things that stress you out a little bit in, in, in some type of way. Sometimes it's good stress, sometimes it's, it's, it's bad stress. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, the best you can do is deal with what you have, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Correct. I have another question. Um, I know you said you, you, you're in the team right now. So what, uh, let's say like your contract is over, what's your next move? Mm, I mean, the next move that's, you know, um, it's not something that I really think of too much. Okay. You know what I mean? I like to be more of uh, in the task I, at hand. Okay. And right now that's to go where I'm signed, you know, give my all, give my best and help the team reach their goals, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, our goal in this case, you okay. know, because it's a collective thing, right? So yeah, that's my main, that's my main focus. Okay. You know, and then when we get to the end of the season, then we'll think about, you okay. know, okay, what's next? You okay. Know? But okay. as of right now, my mindset is to go there, be the best I can be a pers as a person and as a player. Okay. You know? Okay. And bring the best I can, or the people around me, my teammate, coaches, and you know. Just, just overall, just a, a person. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. just a person. Um, it's the most important. So, yep. Um, but yeah, that's my main. That's my main focus, man. Just go there and you know, and push the team on best okay. I can. So, if you had a message for like, let's say like a seventy-year-old who wants to follow the soccer dream, what's mm. the message you would provide? You would give that young kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, what I would say really. Um, is I don't want to say like a lot of people oh believe in yourself fuck it nah it's it's work on your mental aspect right because it's all mental you know what I mean work on that and work on yourself um, it's all within you um, if you're gonna do uh, train work out whatever right just focus on that guard your focus don't get distracted it's mainly that that's really all I would say because that's how I've been trying to carry myself is just to guard your focus and stay locked in. That's it. And everything else will just, you know, and put yourself in the right position. But you got to stay locked in. That's what I would say, yeah. Okay. I have another question. Let's say, like, you decided to change your mind mm. about soccer, which mm. I know it's not, mm. but just wanted to ask that question anyways mm. to see your perspective. I understand. So you, let's say, like, you wanted to change your mind. What What's the next thing you would, think what I would about do right doing. now yes actually recently i've been looking more and i've been you know uh looking into investing right and okay. uh buying properties renting uh, stuff like that rental property uh, exactly and uh i guess real estate you could say okay. i'm not to say i'm gonna be a real estate agent but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean you don't like have to be, be a real estate agent to be the i'm not, like i said i'm just you know jumping into that stuff but i like to own houses and kind of rent okay. out and stuff like that Okay. I think it's a pretty, pretty interesting business. Right? Yeah. Um, so something that I'm trying to learn and get a grasp, you know, a grasp of everything, and then something that may in the future that I would look to, to put some money in and see, you know. I um, think I think you can do. You can start now. I mean, I'm I'm not sure how old. You oh, are. definitely can start now. Yeah. But you don't want to jump into something with little knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Of I mean, course. I just want to get course. as much information as possible. Of course. Of right? course. Right. And then step in then you know it's like now nah, I'm, I'm aware and i know what i'm doing of course you know course. i don't want to jump in and i don't know what, yeah, yeah, yeah. much of the the environment that i'm jumping into so it's kind of like okay do some research learn some things get some people that know the business and understand the business then i can okay now yeah. i feel a lot more comfortable more secure and you know safe going into this yeah no, you know, i hear i hear you i hear you can be a hot head uh, yeah walking into anything you have correct, to take correct. your time learn something you know yeah no i agree I know you're playing for a team right now. Mm -hmm. Let's say like if uh, two countries, mm -hmm. your home country mm -hmm. and the American country mm -hmm. came up and had a contract ready for you, who you think you would go with? Um, off the bat, to be honest, um, naturally I, I, I want to wear my, you know, my colors, my country's colors. I think um, 
you know, pers for, from a personal level, the fact that I was brought up there, I was, you know, I was born there, and also for my family as well, it would only be the right thing to do. Uh, so if I had to choose between USA and, and Haiti, the national team, um, I'll go with Haiti. Naturally, is you know, I'm going with Haiti. Okay. You know, and I also want to play with my brother as well. You know, okay. um, it's a dream of mine, and I would just love to see the look on my parents' face to see that. You both know, both of his coming sons. where we're from, and then now they got two of us up there carrying the country. Okay, and who does he play for right now? Uh, club team. Yeah, he plays for a team in, in uh, Israel called Maccabi Maccabi Haifa. Okay. He plays for yeah in Israel. Would you join him right now? Let's say if the if the opportunity comes. <clears throat> uh, I mean, obviously, right now I'm on a contract. I've I signed, so yeah, I can't yeah. really. I wouldn't can't really do but, anything. Yeah, but you say like in the future, if it was to occur, um, yeah. I I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it's not something that I would... You wouldn't hesitate. Yeah. I definitely want to, you know, share share the feel with him, share the experience with him, I think. Okay. It makes sense. It's one of those things that, you know, you, um, it would just make you, make, make things, it just feels right. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. Just, just two brothers on the same team from Haiti, right? Uh, and it, it would just be something. I think the people would love it. You know, I think... You know, and uh, you know how passionate Haitian fans are, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and I think that would be something incredible, incredible. Okay. Yeah, okay. definitely. Do, you, do, do does he? Do you guys have support from Haiti as well? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. They, I mean, especially him. He, you know, um, well, when he does well, they they, they support. You know how Haitians are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only when you do. You know what I mean? Um, but for the most part, he always does well with the country, anyways. But um, <coughs> but it's a lot of support. You know, you see the comments on Facebook and. Special uh, this past year, um, I got I made the the list for the t uh, for the players being called up for the Gold mm -hmm. Cup, right? I mm -hmm. made the list, but I didn't make the final list. And I just seen the support from the from the fans. Like this guy deserves to be on this list. He deserves he deserves to be on that on that field because he, you know he's performing, he's doing everything. Why is he not there? So I noticed the support from the people. You know they mm -hmm. they see me, they want me, and for me I always want to go. And uh, and play where I'm wanted, you know what I mean. Okay. And so it was good to see that the the team, the national team, actually made it. You know, let me know that okay, we see you. Uh, you know, and being on that list, so it was it was good to see that. Yeah, it was okay. good to okay. see that. So, what position does your brother play? He plays the same as me. We're both nine. Okay. We're both nine. So. Oh, so which means like if you guys merge, somebody yeah, have to it would be a different a, number. It would. Um, it would. Yeah, that could be. That. I wouldn't. I would want to wear nine. Which I, I think. so you want to change? I want to wear nine. Number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to have nine, so we have to have some discussions about that. But you think you think you think he's gonna change or? Not? I think him being the big brother, it's only right you look out for the little brother, right? <laughs> so uh, you know, you could let me have that one. Okay. You know, so it's uh, yeah, I, I want to wear nine. Okay. Um, so playing soccer, have you ever played any other position besides striker? I play on the wing. Like okay. when you play two up top, which, like say which, which wing? Uh, left, left wing. wing. Left okay. wing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we but, play we play two forwards up top, right? So it's initially like one of us sometimes one stays central and the other. So it's like this type yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, movement. Are you, so yeah, so are you lefty? I'm righty. Hmm, cause cause I'm thinking like playing left wing. I'm on the left, so I cut inside to my right to shoot. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it difficult to do that? Difficult? No, it's no? natural okay. because I'm on dribbling on my right foot, so I'm going in a in a natural position. I hear that. Uh, I hear that. You know, uh, path, but. Uh, you know, I find myself playing winger. You know, at UConn, I did find myself being on the wing a lot, a lot, a lot of the times, and just being central. You know, it just okay. depends on formation. And at four three three, I'm the main, I'm the main nine, so I stay central most of the most of the time. Throughout the game, there may be intense where I may have to make a run to the, you know, out wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of but course, for of the course. most part, it is is, uh, um, you know, I'm I'm the central the, nine, the, the, yeah. the, the striker. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And you have you ever played other? Position besides wing and uh, let's say like have you ever played defense or anything nah, like that? I'm no. always I've always been an attacker. <laughs> just uh, you know always that, been that's, an attacker. I, so the, uh, attacker is your main. Um, yeah, that's is my where main, you can perform. That's my main thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the main, okay. Yeah. Okay. Aside from um, soccer, so if you were to travel anywhere, where would you travel to? Travel anywhere. Um, well, I've always well. If you had asked me this like probably a year ago, or two years ago, I probably been like friends. But I've traveled to France recently. Uh, well, you like it? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice. Um, where, where in France? Peru? I went to. Well, my brother played in Gangon at the time, so I went to. It's called Saint Bouillet. 
So I went there. Um, and then we went to the Eiffel Tower. It's okay. Nice. It's not. It's, it's, it's not, not like the pictures. Deal. You know what I mean? But it's like it, it's okay. It was a nice experience. You know. Um, and, you know, I had to try the croissant. That might sound corny, but you know they say it's better there. So you oh, have to try where it's you know it's where it came from. Exactly. And I'm gonna tell you when I tell you that thing. It's different, bro. Yeah, it's, it's you know. What about baguettes? Are we trying baguettes? Well yeah, of there? course, bro. Because okay. you have it here, it's not the same. You yeah, know what I mean? I it's hear, not the I same. Hear, hear. So when you're there, you want to make sure that you try these things and really see what the difference is. You know what okay. I mean? So for now, which country would you travel? For right now, um, definitely want to go to Germany. I want to travel to Germany. Um, Germany. Uh, what else? Yeah, Germany. I've been to Belgium. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's a, that's about it. I mean, that's it's hard to pick one though. I would say this one, but obviously with football, with football, obviously. You just Why Germany? Away. Is it because of football or? Um, I don't. Know, I've always thought like um, it would be a, you know a nice place to go to. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but also yes, football as well. You know what I mean? Okay. But it, it, obviously, it's not just uh, the main thing. But just to travel, I'm open-minded about it. I'm willing, I would be willing to kind of explore and, you know, and see new things, new cultures, you know, stuff yeah. like that. I hear you, I hear you. Um, so, I'm, yeah, it's, it's open. I'm very open about it. Yeah. Earlier, you said you you listen to music, uh, most, you said Afrobeats. Yeah. Um, what other gen genre do you listen to? Uh, okay, R&B, very relaxed, like, okay. like I said, very calm. Um, uh, sometimes I just do instrumentals, you know what okay. I mean? Um, I, you know, as a matter of fact, let me see something real quick. I will show you, I will tell you right now. <clears throat> um, I have a lot of playlists, right? I have one called The Rhythm, which is just uh, more like the beat, the, the sound of like just beats, you know what I mean? Just like I said, right? And then I have one called, uh, it's more of like um, uh, UK drill, French rap. Okay. You know, it's some, you know, American stuff in there as well, and then I have this one. I I, I call it calm, like you know. And, it, and I have, you probably wouldn't believe this, but Hans Zimmer. You know Hans Zimmer. Okay. First time hearing that. Hans Zimmer is he's like a, a movie. Like I've seen. Uh, let me see. I've seen the, um, uh, what's it called? Con Conception. I think it's Conception. Right with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh yeah, I know. It's like the, that, you know the you know when you watch when the, like the the world is like the, yeah the beat it's like the the music you hear when something you know what I mean something's about to happen yeah you, that you, that you, big you listen to this music to that. So, like kind of like those type of instrumental instrumental that about. before a game I'll listen to that like I actually have a you can see right here like the whole playlist like these songs I'll listen to oh wow before a game it puts me into a set of mind where I'm just calm man I just relax so the night before. Would you go? Would you go if if those people were doing a concert? Would you go to their concert? To a listen? concert, most probably not. Okay. Honestly, probably not. Yeah, but it just it's just for me to to channel this person because, you know, um, to channel that person prior to a game, I just okay. It helps me get you know kind of channel that that player, the person I'm looking for, that I'm, I'm supposed to be. You know for the game it just helps me channel that okay yeah. so you said that so pretty much like that relax you come relax me yeah relax okay me. yeah and then after the game you you play something more like uh, a beat right yeah so, i'll be i'll be listening to some jamaican songs too <laughs> jamaican songs go <laughs> yeah, <crazy>. one. <laughs> jamaican songs go crazy yeah i'll listen yeah, to this as well I hear, I hear. you know just kind of relax it even uh, before like say i'm going to sleep i'll probably put that on like i said I calm, right or stretching or just relaxing. I'll put I that on. You I know what I mean? You. Um, so if anybody were to look for you, like let's say on social media or anything like that, where do you think they can find you? What did the mean? You can find me on TikTok. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. Okay. Um, Instagram. Um, yeah, I mean, you just, just type my name. Um, it's, uh, you know, my full name was just Franz. And, you know, I'll pop up on everything. Okay. Um, I'm not hard to find. I have I try my best to make my social media, you know, easy to find. Like you don't have to. It's not any crazy, you know, username like yeah, yeah, yeah. something, something, something. No, I just Franz and it's my number. You know, okay. Franz nine. Number nine. Franz, you know what I mean? It's very nice. straightforward. Wherever you go, you'll find that. Okay. Uh, you know, just googling it or whatever. I'm do, you, there. do you have any like YouTube videos that you would want somebody to? 
um, watch or something like let's say like let's say like uh, when you have a victory or something do you post these on TikTok or YouTube or something no, like that no I don't post I don't post no I don't post okay. victories I don't post uh, uh, I, I'll post I'll probably put some goals just to kind of give like uh, build some type of what's it called anticipation Momentum. if I'm gonna okay. make a video but um, I don't really post much about victories or talk much okay. I try to just my social media, I try to keep it not as much me talking about myself all the time. Okay. You know what I mean? Just regular stuff. I know the, the you, you're going to have a season pretty soon. Yeah. So what is your goal for for that season? Um, I mean, it's, it's more of um, there's an individual goal and there's a collective goal, right? Okay. And obviously, um, I always put the collective goal first. Okay. You know? um, and that's what the team wants is to win, you know? Go in a spot where it's looking good for the next year playoffs or winning the league, you know, and that's my, you know, my goal is to contribute to that. You know what I mean? So I create my goals from whatever the goal, the goals of the team is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so my goal is to just go as far as possible with the team and contribute as much as I can, whether that's scoring goals, assisting, jumping, whatever, the, whatever it is I can bring to the table, bring yeah, to the yeah. team to reach our goal. That's what I'm gonna do, and and that's mainly my goal. And obviously, the individual party is just be the best I can be as a player, and most importantly, as a person. And so yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming, man. For I sure. appreciate no, you. For appreciate having, having conversation with you. For sure. You know, I've learned a lot from like um, having the conversation with you, knowing mm-hmm. like especially the position you play, yeah. what you do in your off time, the yeah. music you listen to. You know, and I do think like somebody who wants to, you know, chase the path that you're chasing yeah. um, will find a lot of success in that. And, yeah, yeah. you know, and, you know, and if you ever got another contract or anything like that, you know where we're at. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, stop no. by, yeah. you know, and then um, if you also have a game too, let us know. Um, no, stop for sure, by, for sure. And then we'll come and support you. Yeah, for sure. You know? No, I appreciate you all for having me. You know, it's been a pleasure. You yeah, know, of course. To kind of let you guys into my journey. And, yeah, yeah, of you know, course. Of think course. about it. And so, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Good to be here. Maybe some other time. Maybe who knows, right? But, you know, <laughs> Big things really, coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I hear you. Well, guys, and you you heard um, we had a good conversation with Franz. And, you know, yes, stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. You never know. We want this to go viral. <laughs>